BlackBerry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for CrackBerry.com. We are at CES 2012. We are in the BlackBerry briefing meeting rooms. I am joined today by Michael Cluley of RIM. How We've do you got, Kevin? I'm, we're doing good. We got CrackBerry Adam in the corner. We got Jeff Gadway who's given us a few hey. Playbook 2 or Playbook OS 2 previews already. We got somebody on the floor. They're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and we're seeing how many people we can pack in a room. But what I really want to see today is um, let's talk BlackBerry Balance for a bit, Michael. For sure. So uh, BlackBerry Balance is actually baked into Playbook OS 2.0 uh, right from the ground up. And what it enables is your playbook to be administered by a Bez Admin, essentially. Uh, but allow a user to still have fun with the playbook, get all the games that they love, go to all the websites they love, have consumer email, uh, but also get their work email, get their work applications, have that secure access to your network, and do the things that they would expect to do as a, a, a mobile worker, essentially. Uh, so why don't we jump to uh, the playbook, and I'll show you some of uh, the various things that are in Playbook OS 2.0 that show off balance. So Sounds good. First off here we have kind of at the top we have our little briefcase icon which in, uh, it indicates that this playbook, my playbook specifically, has been enrolled with BlackBerry Mobile Fusion. And what that means is it has now created a secure encrypted uh, partition on the playbook to keep all of your work data safe. Okay. Uh, and, and, and that also means that, you know, for BlackBerry uh, admins, um, it, it, it comes with the standard management of the mobile devices that they're used to. So remote wipe, remote lock, uh, pushing down email credentials, things like that. So on the device, not only do I have access to my RIM email account uh, in the email inbox, because it pushes down that information, but it also means essentially that I now have applications that my IT admin pushes down to my device as well. Uh, so we've actually uh, taken application management, uh, enterprise application management to the extreme in OS 2.0 and we've integrated right that right into BlackBerry App World. Uh, so you can see here on Playbook we have the apps, the games, and now we have this work tab that most users, most consumers, wouldn't normally see. Right. As soon as a playbook gets enrolled in BlackBerry Mobile Fusion, the work tab appears. And this actually lists all of the optional applications that are available to an end user. And then in uh, AppWorld, it also shows you what are the mandatory applications that have been pushed oh, down. Yeah. Uh, by the ITM and so as a user I can't actually de delete these mandatory applications because they're considered important to the role that I have and then going on the home screen we create a work folder here uh, that contains all of the the mandatory applications that are pushed when the, the playbook is enrolled um, and then again any of the optional applications that I download as a user from uh, app world are installed into this work folder as well and I get the work browser which is uh, a secure connection back to my intranet right. uh, for any of those great HTML websites that uh, you use on a daily basis in your work environment so for workflow and approvals and things like that. So curiosity as a, you know an employee who's given a, a, a playbook that has balance installed when it comes to my personal apps that I'm installing in that is that something my employer would ha be able to see, or is it kept pretty separate? Or what's no, that's the that's the beauty of BlackBerry Balance is to a user who wants to have fun with the device is it's a pretty much a separation. Uh, the administrator can uh, cannot allow uh, applications to use secure connectivity. Okay. Uh, so if I'm on my corporate Wi-Fi or if I'm using the BlackBerry connection as a means to get behind my firewall, uh, that can be blocked for, uh, for the personal applications. Uh, but I, as an IT admin, can't see my user's personal email, can't see or block their personal applications. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like a virtualized environment. And then, uh, you know, I think from some of the stuff we were talking about before and looked at, you know, balance will actually go into certain apps preventing certain functionality if, if needed so copy and paste and that kind of thing could be locked down on 
Right, so copy-paste is a great example, right? Again, we want to make sure that the, the whole purpose of balance is to prevent data leakage from the secure or the work perimeter to the personal perimeter. Uh, so as a user, if I'm in uh, my work email, I can copy text, but I can't actually paste that into any of the personal applications. Right. And that is blocked at the OS level um, from that protection. Uh, so and then again, personal email though, no issue. You'd be no, able to. No issue. You could forward that to your work account. Um, and again, what it comes down to is, um, you know, we, we can't stop a user from forwarding a work email to their personal account, but that's where it's important to have that protection in your work environment. That's where, you know, monitoring on the back end becomes really, really important. Sure. Understood. But we can do everything on the device to prevent data leakage oh. from that perspective. Seems really smart, and I mean, where where things need to move, right? For so you're not carrying around too too many devices. <laughs> exactly, it's it's keeping uh, you know your personal and your work device all in one device. Cool. And I think that's a pretty good look then at BlackBerry Balance. Anything we're missing? I think that's that's pretty solid. No, that that's that's pretty much the DNA of BlackBerry Balance. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, Mike.